Chut sun flana dal. Back to the water. To be in relation with the land, we must understand its true gifts. We must understand the power of transformation, and we must understand the sacredness of those gifts. We need to honor them, to use them wisely, as a life has been given. The intent and meaning of education is to understand and to have the knowledge of how to conduct yourself in your community and your environment for the well being of community as a whole, now and for future generations. We honor the ancestors who share their gift of knowledge passed on to them by their ancestors before them. My name is Wayne G. Price. I was born in Juneau, Alaska. My Indian name is Ayantki. My village is from Cake, Alaska. And on my dad's side, from Klukwan. So I'm a Wushkitan shark and uh, presently up here in Haynes Junction working on a 30-foot dugout canoe. It's been a journey that I've done quite a few of these now and being able to take a team of six and then who have never had any experience doing a dugout for them to sign up and make that commitment was a big step. And I commend all of them for their efforts they made, and not really knowing what they're getting into, and then making the effort to be here every day and getting involved, and then learning how I teach as the lead carver that uh, we get close to the hall, there's, it gets pretty fussy, you know. Nobody wants to make any errors. Boat building comes with a lot of feelings. And not all of it's good, you know, it's hard feelings. But we, we work through it, we keep going, you know, we cover, take care of each situation. We're learning how to be a team, and I'm learning them, they're learning me, and we're making a boat, you know, the pro progress is good. The gifts of the land are the creators of our stories, of our songs, of our dances, clans, and our intergenerational names. These places, the animals, the plants, the water, all carry ecological spirit that supports human life. Having an intimate relationship with the transformation of the tree of life, the great cedar, learning of its every curve, every resistant knot, and every groove in every motion of the ads. Every calculation, every curve, every angle shows us the language of nature, shows us that nothing is by accident. My name is Kara McQuaig. What drew me to be a part of this journey was the knowledge. I just knew that I wouldn't be able to get that anywhere else. Starting off, it was definitely like, like getting up every day and getting out here it, like for the, for the first week it was like yeah let's go do this yeah but then the second week was like oh my god i'm so sore like everything is hurting but then once i went past that threshold it was like all right let's just get this done like i got the muscle to do this and let's go <laughs> wayne yeah. is definitely a great teacher he's he likes to keep our morale up and I think that was really important, especially for the first part of this, because after everybody's tired and everybody's really sore, you know, the only thing that's keeping them there is their will to be there. And Wayne definitely gave us a will. So, Physically, this experience is quite challenging. It is uh, definitely making me get past my threshold, but I guess emotionally and mentally, like, this has just been really, this has been really good. Like, yeah been like a transformation kind of thing yeah yeah well I, I don't think I've ever really done this big of a project before and just you know just jumping right into that it's it's been the experience it's been the experience of a lifetime and I'll definitely be taking this and just the people I've met the stories I've heard I'm gonna be taking that and I'm gonna be remembering it for a long time long time to come so this is definitely something special for me
My name's Jay Reed. I'm from Haynes Junction. My mom and dad are Krista and Stephen Reed. And just the first time looking at a 40 foot log, it's pretty intimidating, but like kind of like hypes you up to go and do it too. I think this experience has affected me and everyone around, like come to so many different things. But at the end of the day, you're always proud of what you did. But there's a lot of emotions from being mad at the one cut you made that was just a little bit too deep, but that's part of it. I think Wayne has taught us so much from like the process of the healing journey that this dugout has taken us on and just the patience it takes and the dedication. Mainly it's a like a good way to heal and that's what I've taken from it. Carving, digging, shaping, paddling, and voyaging a dugout canoe shows us the significance of the science of nature, the physics, the formulas, the balance, the equations of what we need to know as our Indigenous sacred education. A transformable undertaking such as Dugout Canoe impacts a community and brings the community together. Together, the community sets out a reciprocal relationship in roles and responsibilities of the contributions and gifts that each has to offer. In this way, we learn our relations. We came to know our ancestors, the extent of our family relationships beyond these colonial borders, and how they cared for their geographical land base and the values that each had. And sharing the gifts of those land resources, the understanding of what it means to take care of family and share what you have to ensure everyone has enough. We connect with the stories of our names, the roles of our clans, and we understand the responsibility that we have to ensure we care for the land and invest in its protection from exploitation and capitalism. This canoe is symbolism of family, community, and nations, but also a physical carrier of sovereign relationality with lands and sacred waters.